century that these accusations are about, uh, you know, in the 1980s. I went to high school then. This was a time when women just simply were not believed and everybody sounded like Donald Trump and Michael Caputo. So if you're going to ask why women didn't come forward, Michael, that's your answer. Just listen to yourself. This is how women got well, treated. This is this. how they got talked about. And, and so it wasn't... When there's never, no you, witnesses, you this is what happened. Stuff interrupting. I'll tell you what, as a father of a daughter, you're going to call me out like that? Let me yeah, tell you I this. Was, you call me out like that? and raving for two, for two segments. Now you can listen to me. You don't I, call me I out know, like that on I know what it television. Was, I know what it was like to be a woman during that time period, and you don't. So well, I'll this, tell you what, this is exactly this is exactly like... This is exactly like... chance. This is exactly like... What people like Michael always did when black people said Please. that there was police Wait, brutality. Let, let they, said, they said they said that black people they said that black people were making it up until there were videos I of don't it. Listen. And then you I can't don't, deny don't what it was made up. Here okay. Unfortunately they were not cell phones like in the nineteen eighties. This okay, is Michael, inappropriate. All right. Here's the downside of this. All right. From now on, every mother of sons, every grandmother of of, of grandsons has to fear for the future of their boys. Because of people like you, who sit here and take uncorroborated testimony, uncorroborated allegations against a decent man, and ruin him because it gets you ratings. Enough of that. That's I, bonkers. I, I, That's I mean, literally insane. I, I, hope, I, I hope young men who uh, sexually assault young women get their lives ruined. I mean, I'm not worried about that. Yeah, yeah, I mean, really, I mean, honestly, proven, like, and all I, you're making are uncorroborated allegations for ratings. Can I it's say enough. another thing? I, I, I'll tell you what, I want to know you, I'm going to tell you something. Really? I hope all 16 Republicans watching tonight and all the independents get a chance to see the hearing tomorrow and the 250 whacked out crazy people are going to stand up and scream in the middle of it and remember to, to vote in the midterm elections because if the, if the House goes blue, this is our, our life every single day in America, and it's unacceptable. You people have jumped the shark. So here's the thing. This is an argument also that's being made that this is just, like, not, this is a new one, the ratings thing. But the idea that people are going around, you know, that this is what Democrats do. This is what the media does. It's exactly except, what you're except, doing. Except they didn't do it with Gorsuch, who went to Georgetown Prep. They didn't because do it with John Ross. Stop Gorsuch. interrupting me. Seriously. Why? Just it's be your quiet for a me. second. What, what no, I mean, let me finish. They didn't do it with John Roberts. They didn't do it with Justice Alito. So explain to me that. Like, if you're going to claim that this is just what everybody does, it's not what everybody does. It's not even what people do it's to somebody who went to the same now. high school as him. I can answer that question if you want to challenge me. I can answer that question. You people think you're challenging Donald Trump when you do this, and that's not what hap what's happening here. Donald Trump is standing up for his appointee, but so is the entire Republican Party. Today's press conference was Donald Trump's TED Talk to Republican Senate leaders, teaching them how to put quarters well, in a sock, because we are not going to take this from you anymore. I think that's totally right. I think Donald Trump is right where the Republican Party is on this. And, and you know, good luck to them. I, I th and, and I think the country is a lot more sexist and racist than some of us acknowledge. But, but Michael, you...